Wanna get more out of your Skyforge PS4 experience? Well, I got some tips and tricks for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button. One of my first tips would be to utilize the free stuff that you get when you log in the first time each day. There are multiple things that you can get. One is the daily reward from the first 7 days you play the game, including an awesome outfit and a ton of credits that you can use to, for example, unlock a class. Another way to get free credits each day is to go to the altar, as you see over here. Every day you can take 10 offerings that will give you a ton of credits and even more when you rank up. So if you do it more, you will rank up and get more credits. So if you do that every day, you will really get some free credits, which of course is great. Also interesting to note are the daily rewards from being a premium member. If you are premium rank 2 and up, you will receive an agent chest or more depending on your premium rank that you can fight over here at notifications. Be sure to check it if you are premium. And even if you don't have premium, you'll be able to try it for 3 days. Also interesting to note is that if you have multiple premium like items in your bag, don't activate them all at once, since, and this is at least what I got if I remember correctly, you'll be able to get the 3 free days of premium after the first time you pop the premium as well. So you can enjoy the 3 days of free premium, then pop your own premium and then enjoy the 3 days of free premium as well. This is at least what I experienced. Skyforge is really generous as a free to play game. Another free thing that you want to use is the real query, I hope I pronounced that right, that is in your inventory and also rewards you with a ton of credits and other stuff the more you level up. Up. But how do you level up? Because it's kind of different in Skyforge than other MMOs. It's not really about XP you get from machines, but it's more about the resources that you get from completing adventures or killing creatures. This will give you things to spend on stuff in the capital that will then give you a higher prestige. For example, the Tower of Knowledge. The books you find on the field will give you more prestige, so be sure to spend them all here. The cathedral is also nice to give you some extra prestige. If you got some money to spare you can spend this on the cathedral and that will also increase your prestige level. Completing quests will also increase your ranking. So it's smart to go for example to a bastion for certain areas, get the quest, do them to rank up. As you probably know your class rank is different than your overall prestige. So when you start out with your class you need to unlock their abilities by killing machines as that class. So you need to be that class and then kill machines over and over again. The best way to get all the abilities in Skyforge is to go to an early adventure that you've already completed. Maybe one that you also need to do for a Bastion quest so that it's still counted towards your overall progression. Then kill all the enemies that are pretty easy to kill and you will get the quest done really fast. Getting all the abilities is nice, but if you really get to the end of your class progression, you will also get exclusive class outfits. If you want to boost a certain class in terms of gear, but you don't really want to fight with them in the whole dungeon, then it's smart to just switch to them at the end, since the final boss of an adventure has a high chance of dropping a weapon for the class that you are playing. So be sure to capitalize on that. And don't be afraid that it's hard to kill that boss with the class that you're playing and maybe you haven't played a lot. If you got all the abilities, don't really have a good weapon, you still have a great chance. That's of course, like I already said, if you have all the abilities. So it's really smart to switch a lot in the early part of the game, get all the abilities and you can always go back to focus on playing one after you got all the abilities for all the class you have unlocked. Since it will be harder to play with a certain class later if you haven't unlocked all the skills. So yeah, those are my early Skyforge tips on the PlayStation 4. Be sure to subscribe for more Skyforge PS4 content. Like the video if you did. I will speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.